Hey guys, I'm back with another Batmobile, and this time we're looking at one of the coolest new additions to my collection. This is the Spin Master RC 1989 Batmobile from the movie The Flash. This is labeled as a limited edition, and it's obviously a remote control car, but it also comes with lights, sound effects, uh, a little bit of music, and a few extra electronic features. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump right in and take a look. To start off, the packaging for this Batmobile is excellent, and it really adds to the collector's value. I normally don't keep packages and boxes, but this is one that I'll definitely want to hold on to. The back of the box has a nice rendering of everything that's included, and it lists all the features there on the right. The top and the sides stress that this is the 1989 Batmobile, and I think it's funny that the front of the box is really the only mention of the Flash movie. The box is covered with a sleeve that comes off to reveal a clean image of the 89 Batmobile. It's a nice action shot, and it kind of summarizes all the features with this Batmobile. And when you take off the top, it has this great print underneath showcasing different angles of the Batmobile. It kind of reminds me of some of the blueprints and schematics that we get from the Eagle Moss line. Definitely worth keeping. The top layer includes the Batmobile and some of the accessories. And then underneath all of that, the second layer holds the charging base with the small portion of the Bat computer over here and the different storage compartments. So let's get everything out and set up and we'll take a closer look. Okay. Here is basically everything that comes in the box. We have the instruction booklet, and the instructions are pretty straightforward. So we'll just set that aside. Now, I love how the base is a great display piece, but it also serves as a way to store everything. You have a seat with this portion of the bat cave for the Batman figure, and the chair swivels, and there's a sculpted computer monitor, and something there that looks like a coffee cup to me. And there is another bat computer on the other side. You have a place to store the remote control. And there's a spot for the water tank for the smoke effect. And there's also a spot here on the side. And that is actually a place to keep the caps for the machine guns if you decide to take them off. Now, there's a power cord that extends from underneath. And unfortunately, the cord is not very long. That may be my one minor gripe about the base. It doesn't come with a power brick to plug the USB into an outlet, and depending on where you display it, you'll likely need an extension cord. But as soon as you plug in the USB, the base starts to charge. You actually get a couple of sound effects to let you know that it's connected, and then the red taillights also start to flash to let you know that the Batmobile is charging. If you lift up the Batmobile, you see that it has this charging ring on the bottom. And I wanted to point it out because I think it's brilliant that they designed it that way, because that's exactly where the circular hydraulic platform is located when we see Batman use that lift to spin the Batmobile around at the beginning of Batman Returns. It's pretty cool. And there is some nice detail on the bottom. Of course, there's a power switch in the middle to turn it off and on. And there's actually a third option in the middle to turn the sound effects off while you're driving and using some of the other features. The base has two buttons on the side and the one on the right is for the lights that surround the base. There are actually two settings for the lights. If you press it a second time, the lights dim and have a slight glowing effect. Now, when you press the left button to rotate the base, the platform actually stops charging. You can't charge the Batmobile while the platform is in motion. And you'll actually hear another sound effect to let you know that the car is no longer charging. I just, I think it looks so cool with all of the lights and the Batmobile turning on the platform. And when you press the button again to stop the platform from rotating, you'll actually get another sound effect. 
and that lets you know that the Batmobile is charging again. But if you wanted to, you could charge the Batmobile without the base. There's a secondary charging port on the side vent here where you could directly plug in and charge the Batmobile. The controller for the Batmobile is really nice. Of course, it is covered in bat symbols and you press the symbol in the center and it lights up and powers up the Batmobile. You have forward and reverse, left and right, and these buttons here are to adjust the alignment. And then you have these four bumper buttons to control the different features for the Batmobile. I don't know a lot about RC cars, but this controller really reminds me of like a gaming controller. Okay, so this button on the top right, it turns the lights on and off. You get another sound effect. Looks pretty good. Now, this is cool. Uh, the top left button opens the canopy and you get a nice sound effect when that happens. But then when you take the Batman figure, there's a sensor inside the cockpit. So when you place him in there, you get another sound effect and you hear the intro to that classic Danny Elfman Batman theme. Now you have to manually close the canopy, uh, but that's not a big deal because it looks so cool when you open it up. And I don't know if you can hear this, but there's also a quick sound effect when you take Batman out. It almost sounds like his heavy cape is flapping in the wind or something. <laughs> I love it, so cool. Okay, check this out. The bottom left button activates the machine guns. There's no sound effect when you deploy the machine guns, but the turrets have lights and you can turn them off and on by pressing the same button. I'm not going to take them off right now, but the black caps on the top are actually removable, and there's a place to store them behind the water tank here. And just like the canopy, you have to manually close the turrets by pressing them back into place. Now, the last big feature is the afterburner. You have this water tank that you fill with clean water, and I love how they made it look like an old oil can or a gas tank or something. Of course, it has the bat symbol on either side. And you want to be careful because it doesn't have a cap or a lid. The water doesn't squeeze out easily, but you don't want to do anything to damage the electronics by getting water everywhere. So what you do is you open this little rubber piece on the back trunk here and you carefully pour some water into the reservoir and then when you hold the bottom right button down it activates the turbo exhaust. You get light and sound effects, and the atomizer releases this steam or a smoke effect, right? It's so cool. Love it.
Okay, so let's do a couple of quick side-by-side -side comparisons. The first Batmobile I want to show you is the standard release of the 89 by Spin Master. Now, before we look at the cars, I want to take a look at the figures, because both Spin Masters come with a Batman figure. The standard version also comes with a Flash, but, you know, the RC Batmobile is supposed to have an exclusive figure to this limited release, but aside from a few very minor paint details, they look like the same exact figure. I don't know. Can you tell the difference? They pretty much look the same to me. You know, still great to include because I think you gotta have a Batman to drive both Batmobiles. Both of these Batmobiles look to have identical molds. The standard has some different paint apps, and obviously the headlights are painted on while the RC has the working lights. And there are some very minor differences in the sculpt too, like around the turbine there in the front, and then the exhaust is obviously different to accommodate the smoke effect. But otherwise, the shape of the bodies are identical. I think the standard one is great, even though it doesn't have all the features of the RC. Obviously, there's a significant difference in price, but I do think that you get what you pay for. The body of the standard is a very lightweight plastic while the RC is a combination of high-grade plastic and die-cast metal. You know, if you're a fan of this Batmobile and you're not planning to get the RC, then you should definitely get the standard Spin Master release. Now, one other comparison I want to do is with a Batmobile that I think many of us have, and that is the 124 scale release of the 89 by Jada. This is another favorite of mine, and I wanted to show it to you in part because of the scale. From the headlights to the points of the tail fins, the Spin Master is about 14 inches or 35 centimeters in length, while the Jada is about 9 inches or 23 centimeters in length. Now, ironically, the Jada is priced at around the same amount as the standard Spin Master release. It doesn't have all the features of the RC Spin Master, but it is made entirely out of die-cast metal, and it does have some moving parts. The machine guns don't pop out like on the RC Spin Master, but you can flip these panels over to reveal the turrets. Both of these versions of the fan favorite 89 Batmobile would look great in any collection. In closing, this is by far my favorite Batmobile pickup in recent years, and it is definitely one of the coolest additions to my collection. It is a little pricey compared to some of the other Batmobiles that are out there, but I'm pretty sure you can still find it at a slight discount from places like Amazon and Target. Again, I do think you are getting your money's worth, uh, with it being a remote control car with lights, sound effects, uh, the smoke effect, you have the, the rotating charging base with lights, and of course the Batman figure, and the excellent packaging, and come on, this is all with the 89 Batmobile. I've said it in some of my other videos, but the one good thing to come out of the Flash movie is all of the great Batman collectibles that have been released. And for me, this RC Spin Master Batmobile is at the top of the list. Let me know what you think. As always, I appreciate your comments and I appreciate you taking the time to like and subscribe. So, We've been looking at the Spin Master RC 1989 Batmobile from the movie The Flash. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.